Good morning, John, from Silver Bullet Mines. Your assay results are officially out, and it's my understanding that you guys are happy. Talk to me. First of all, good morning, Tracy. Uh, thank you very much for the opportunity to sit with you and, and, and tell you about our what we find what we think is a very exciting story and a, and a great mover of as we move this company forward. Uh, yes, our, 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 our assay results are out. Uh, as you know, it's been a long two years of struggle to get where we are today, uh, but we've never lost sight of the target. And to now be able to say that, you know, we're in the mine and we're where we want to be and we've got 24, over 24 ounces per ton silver is, is a real plus for our side. And we're really pleased with it. And so should our shareholders be pleased. Not only should your shareholders be pleased, but we're actually, we're rolling our way right into production with your silver mine. Tell us more about that, please. Well, you know, I've spent a lot of years in the in the mining business, as you know, and uh, you know, manufactured over 200 mills, uh, shipped to over 40 countries, and and watched all every what everybody was doing from the exploration side as well, and uh, decided that you know what I would like to do in, in in my you know part of it would be to actually build a mine and a mill and and do it a little different from from the way most junior companies do it. So we. We've gone out and what we've done is basically built a mine mill complex, something that's really unique for junior miners. And I always believed in that adage, and I can't, can't remember now who said at some point in time in the past was, you know, the best place to find a mine is in the shadow of the head frame. So what we focused on was looking at properties that, you know, had been in production historically, maybe not with compliant resources, but, you know, had some historical data and historical uh, information and, and technical reports that could enable us to go ahead and move forward on it. Uh, the first one we found, of course, was the Silver Bullet Mines uh, property in Arizona. It consists of about 5,000 acres, and it's uh, it's cobbled together. We did it over a long period of time, and we own them all. All the properties are ours. We don't have option agreements on them. We have a small lease on our on our one little patented claims. But that's it. Everything else we own. And, and, our, and that goes for our properties in Idaho as well. So what we've tried to do is put that together as a nice system so that we can then develop it. Uh, as you know, when you're drilling properties, you drill and drill and drill and drill and hope like heck you're going to get yourself a great hole. And that's great. But when you've got our properties consist, a lot of them is a, like a nugget effect. So what we did is we, we are drilling the property, but we're drilling it by mining it. You know, much like Homestake did historically, the vein is 12 inches wide, they mined 12 inches. It was 12 feet, they mined 12 feet. So when we went into it, we found that there was a lot of historical data. There was old drill holes that were done on the property historically. And we said, okay, let's go in and let's put, put together a program where we can go in and actually create value for our shareholders. This is all about creating value. You don't create value when you're drilling holes unless you get good drill holes. And then, then you then you have the potential to create value. But you've been in this business a while. You know how many great stories there are versus how many not so great stories. We want to be one of the great stories. So what we did is we went in and we are mining that property. And we put in a state-of-the-art 125 metric ton per day mill that's expandable in capacity. We can, we can add whatever necessary components we need to, to go after more commodities. All of that is there. And we've done that. So I, I, one of our shareholders called me the other day and he says, I looked at Google Google um, Maps at one Silver Hill Road, which is the location of our mill. And he said, there's nothing there. And I said, well, think about it for a minute. That that was probably done three, four, five years ago. And he's absolutely right. There was nothing there. In the last two and a half years, we have built a complete mine mill complex. And like I said, it includes uh, a full 125 metric ton a day mill. It also includes a full assay facility, which enables us to do silver and now gold and do our assays internally. I don't have to wait three weeks. So, okay. So when are you going to be starting production? Well, the plan now is now that we're into the zone, which has taken us two years to get to and many bumps along the way. And so what we're doing is we will be start shipping or to the, oh, sorry, mineralized material to the mill uh, later this week. 
not only is that super exciting, of course, the history on how you created this particular model is very, very relevant. Um, in addition um, to creating a mine that's going to be producing silver uh, mineralized material here in the next week or two and having outstanding assay results, can you talk to us a little bit more about some of the ownership that you were telling me on the phone yesterday? Uh, for instance, you mentioned we own three generators, I believe you said to me. Oh, yes. Well, the thing is, what, what people have to understand when they go to our website and see that equipment, we own every piece of that equipment. At our mine, we have uh, four mucking machines, two one and a quarters, two two and a halves. We have our own compressor, our own generators, our own vents. At the mill site, we have a complete crushing facility, um, grinding, uh, state-of-the-art gravity concentrators, tables. We have our own pumping system. We have our own well. People, people say, to you, well, how do you, what about your water problem in Arizona? We have a 420 foot well on our property that we can pump all the water we need to get everything we need done. We have, as I said earlier, we have a full assay facility, which allows us to not only assay for ourselves, but for others as well. And we have our own refinery. So we pour these bars, like that's a bar that we pour. That's a silver bar poured by, by us. And there it is. This one happens to be 38 ounces. It's about 90% silver, and then it's got some copper and some nickel in it. So we have that, and it's all ours, and, and it, it's, a, it's complete, and we own every piece of it. So, yes, we're quite proud of what we've done in the last two and a half years. And I'll tell you, Peter Clausey does an amazing job of interviews, but I wanted the investor news audience to get more of the magic, of course, of Silver Bullet. And one thing that people may not appreciate is how hard it is to build a team. And, you know, you have and build teams and they stay with you forever. So, John, tell us a little bit more about the Silver Bullet Mines team, please. I always believe that you, there are great properties and there are good properties and there are great teams and not so great teams. I'd rather have a good property and a good team than a good property and a poor team because it's all about execution. And we are an ex excellent example of how we built this team. Um, our guys in Arizona are third generation miners. They know nothing but mining and they solve every problem, every issue that we've been faced with over the last two years, from COVID, from, as you know, from COVID, from uh, supply chain issues, from uh, price increases, from weather problems, from all of those issues, instead of getting down about it, we put our head down and we fought our way through it. And my guys, our guys, our team is capable of doing that. I'll give you a specific example. We went to pour the pad for our mill and it was, we had a quote of $139,000. When we, when we finally got it all together and we went back to them, the price had gone to $490,000. So what did we do? We went out and we rented the forms. We bought the material ourselves and our guys went in and worked 24 hours a day for three days. We brought in different people to help us and poured the pad ourselves. That's how we got around it. That's how we were able to build the facility that we built for the money we paid, which is probably worth at least twice if anybody else had built it. And it's all because we have a great team. Our geological team is great. Our management team is great. We've got guys that'll stick with us and work hard and, and, and move everything forward. So I'm so proud of the team that that's what gets me up every morning to keep this thing moving. Well, I'll tell you, I'm a Silver Bullet fan. So for everybody out there who would like to learn more about Silver Bullet Mines, please go to the following website. And John Carter, thank you so much for taking time out of being, you know, boots on the ground here to give us an update and congratulations on your assay results. Thank you very much, Tracy.